Ladies, this is your last chance to impress me and save yourself from elimination. Time to crash the system. I've got Mick and I'm ready to kill it. My drag is inspired by fashion and designers like McQueen and Galliano. Picasso's paintings inspire me a lot. I love putting shapes on my face where they probably shouldn't be. She's just a campy, spooky clown artistry thing. Not the first person here. I cannot. I'm so excited to be here. On RuPaul's Drag Race. Thank you. Hold the applause. <laughs> I think I'll bring a different angle to this competition. I am a transgendered man. So, born a girl, transitioned to a guy, dressed like a girl for money. Very that. <laughs> but I'm so excited. No one saw that. I am an extravagant celebrity makeup artist. I'm gonna have like a Buffalo Bill moment here. I've painted Cindy Crawford, Heidi Klum, Kara Tilton. And so the biggest misconception about me is that I'm just a makeup artist. I do so much more and I cannot wait to show these bitches. Two queens stand before me. Ladies, this is your first chance to impress me and save yourself from getting the pork chop. The time has come for you to lip sync for your life. I'm cracking my knuckles right now, full like getting ready, like focus. No one is sending me home on the first episode. Good luck. And don't it up. Saturday, stepping into the club. The music made me want to tell the DJ, turn it up. I feel the energy all around, and my body can't stop moving to the sound. But I can tell that you're watching me, and you're probably gonna like what you didn't see. Well, I just need a little space to breathe. Can you please respect my privacy? Ladies, I've made my decision. Got Mick. Shantae, you stay. <laughs> oh my god, thank you. I just want to lip sync on RuPaul's Drag Race. Hello. First up, got Mick. She's your weather girl, and has she got news for you? My daytime look represents my drag style because it's a fitted latex number, oversized shoulders, structured hair, but with a girly twist. OMG, we match. We're rain bros. <laughs> it's cutesy, and I feel like a little princess in the middle of the day. I'm normally intense with my looks, and I usually paint my face clown white. So, hello, showing them rains already. A 100% chance of gorgeous. First up, got Nick. Now, is it me, or does she look a little pasty? <laughs> this look, girl, she's going to steal your soul. She is a spooky seductress. And, girl, my titty's out. Ever since I got my top surgery, I love having my chest out. Let me tell you that I am living for it, and I never want this feeling to go away. 
Moss, Git, Moose and Squirrel. Natasha. Got milk. Was born a girl, baby. Oh my god. I wrote, I'm born a girl, and I haven't talked to these bitches about it. So I did not know that I was going to have to have all these girls hear about my gender situation before I can even talk to them. Uh, do you, like, know what you're gonna do during the... <laughs> <laughs> not really. I'm just a deer in headlights right now, basically. I just can't even seem to talk, which is very unlike me. I don't know what's going through their heads. I shouldn't even be focusing on that. Like, who cares? But we have to perform this tomorrow. What the f are you gonna do, bitch? Hey, Mick, how are you feeling about your, your performance? Uh, a little better today. I was, like, really so stressed yesterday. Like, had you guys all dancing to, like, talking about how I'm a girl, and it was, like, to me. I feel like I based all my lyrics about my gender situation, and I haven't even talked to you guys about me being a transgender guy drag queen. Like, I was just gagged. Like, my gender dysphoria, like, took over my soul, which is so isn't like me, too. Yeah. Because I usually don't give a f I just couldn't even take in any of the choreo at first, because it was just, like, it was so intense. Like, I was, like, couldn't breathe about it. Like, thank you for sharing that with us. And you're, like, you're changing the shape of drag. Like, this is, this is big. Thank God I feel a little better today about it, because that was a moment, but... Yeah. Got milk. Was born a girl, baby. Was told that I can't do drag. Knew I had something to prove. Now you're gonna lose. Category is LeMay. You stay. Up first, got Mick. She's going back to the It's the creature from the gold LeMay. <laughs> the McQueen of the runway. My look is inspired by sea dragons. I have a full LeMay headpiece with pleated LeMay crazy stoned artistry all around my face. I look like a LeMay alien. It's everything. You know, I think I saw that at Gold Navy. <laughs> <laughs> got Mick and you. Uh, here I come. Oh, so you're gonna bring two little scraps. <laughs> I mean, bars, what do you think I'm wearing? Uh, <laughs> so tell me about your ball extravaganza. Do you know how to sew? I did go to fashion school, so. Really, where, yeah. here in Los Angeles? Yeah, I went to Fitum, so I have the basics, but I haven't really practiced in a couple years since then, so. Where does your style aesthetic come from? I'm really inspired by art, and I'm a painter. I'm inspired by shapes and rearranging how, like, the human face should look and putting things where they shouldn't be, making it look all distorted and weird, and, yeah. yeah. Is that, like, a G-string something? <laughs> no, it's gonna be a little, like, corsetry artistry happening. Okay. Like, it's really showing my body, which I love. My waist is gonna be so snatched, and I'm just gonna be <laughs> feeling it. Well, that sounds fantastic. Yeah. Got Mick, body bag. Oh, that is one long intestine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving you autopsy of Jane Ho, and I'm showing you all that I'm just as glamorous on the inside as I am on the outside. No, it really took guts to pull this off. <laughs> got Mick. Oh my God, Mick. <laughs> I'm serving you boss bitch boss. I'm a Generation Z. CEO, girl, I have a fully sarovsky pinstripe suit with one bra side out. This is what you're gonna see when you walk into my meeting at my company. Uh, that's what I aspire to be, black and dripping in diamonds. Yes, wow. And if she thinks I ain't gonna jump her in the parking lot for that suit, she is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Got Mick. She is a strapping young queen. I'm giving you very Joan Jett, very Matrix. Everything is the silver, black, futuristic fantasy moment. I have straps from a backpack on one shoulder, and then I sewed together all of these drawstring bags down my leg, so it looks like this weird one-legged chap situation, and I'm living. Oh, it's a punk Joyce DeWitt. <laughs> Got Mick. Congratulations, you are the winner of this week's challenge. <laughs> You've won a cash tip of $5,000. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I won the ball challenge, bitch. I'm done. Utica. <laughs> bitch, you're 
weird. RuPaul could walk up in here in cargo shorts, and I would still vote you the most confusing thing in the room. <laughs> Tina, if this whole drag thing doesn't work out for you, you and them shoulders have a gorgeous career in the NFL. Thank you. <laughs> Tight end. I'm not what I heard. <laughs> Candy Mules. It is so amazing how we represent such different communities here. Gay, trans, pug. <laughs> Scott Mick, congratulations. You are the winner of today's mini challenge. Scott Mick, bottoms up. <laughs> This week, I chose the anal option. I'm giving this 60s mod dress, and then I have a full anal bead inspired latex headpiece. I just wanted to give you something campy and funny. Anal mountain high enough. Oh, no. <laughs> She's a businesswoman, socialite, and DJ. Please welcome Paris Hilton. Hey, Rue, how's it going? Just let me know when the cameras are rolling and we'll kill it. Well, we've started. The cameras are rolling. <laughs> Oh, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm so happy to be here. My goodness, your voice changed just then when you found out that we were on camera. You're so obsessed with me, it's everything. I kind of am You're obsessed so, with you. Oh my God. You're so hot. Raven, it's feel familiar at all? You know what? I played it safe that time, so let's hope you're not doing the same. <laughs> I saw that on TV. That was <laughs> rude. <laughs> All right, our first question is for Raven. Cancel culture is out of control. Last week, Winnie the Pooh got canceled for blanking in the forest. We're gonna get some answers from our celebrities over here. All right, Raven, what say you? I believe Winnie the Pooh would have been canceled for scatting in the forest. What say you, Paris? I was on a flight back from a pizza yesterday. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's in Spain, right? I think. Yes. I just go to sleep with a couple pills, wake up, and DJ. <laughs> what songs do you like to play when you're DJ? I honestly just press play and hope for the best. <laughs> there was a girl, Winnie, on my flight, oh. and I mentally counseled her because she smelled insane. <laughs> And so I wrote smelling. <laughs> Two words to describe who's killing it. That's hot. Let's go to Paris Hilton. Now, I venture to say you've never had pork chops before. I have not. But my sister just married a Rothschild, so I'm the poor sister now. <laughs> <laughs> Last night, Michelle Visage cheated on her vegan diet. She missed the taste of? I'm going to stick with what I know here to be safe. Okay. And so I wrote huge <laughs> Sticking with what we know. All right, not a match for Raven. I'm not good at this, Raven. <laughs> I'm kind of... Got Mick. That's gotta hurt. <laughs> <laughs> this week's one of the first times on this runway where it is 100% me. I have my signature clown white face paint back in action and a giant safety pin stabbing right through my brain with Swarovski blood dripping down. I'm a punk rock gorge, gorge. Punk's not dead. Got Mick. Yeah. You gave us a night in Paris we'll never forget. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, you are the winner of this week's challenge. <laughs> You've won a cash prize of $5,000. Thank you. <laughs> I did not just win Snatch Game. It's too much. <laughs> Got Mick as Candy Muse. The Brazonks in the house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she will kick your ass. Come on. The look turned out really good. It fits me perfectly. I feel really gorgeous in it. I feel like I'm giving them candy. I'm like smacking my ass. I'm just trying to push myself as hard as I can and go over the top with these candy-isms because it's so fun to be Candy Muse. And she's the leader of the pack. Uh-huh. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Got Mick and Utica. Hello, my little gorgeline tresses. Lately, I've seen some really f nasty ass selfies. So I'm here to show you how to beat your face for the gods and get the correct selfie. Already, it's hilarious because Utica's arms are like that. And I'm going to do it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Testing out the powder, making sure it's a real good, consistent. <laughs>
<laughs> Just roll that on. <laughs> to finish off this look, we're gonna grab eyelash glue to really bring everything together. <laughs> we're gonna grab my lips again. <laughs> if you glue your lips, doesn't it look like I'm a Jenner now? <laughs> and pose. Oh my God. It's actually cute. <laughs> it's cute. Seems like a normal got Mick face. <laughs> <laughs> Heidi in closet. Hi, my love. Hi. How are you tonight? Okay. You lip synced more times than our angel here, Valentina, has attempted to block the words rent live on social media. <laughs> mm. <laughs> but moving on to our judges. Hi, you guys. Hi. Hi. Lonnie Love. I just cannot believe I am standing up here presenting my comedy in front of you. I knew there was gonna be budget cuts this season, but I didn't know it was gonna affect the judges panel too. <laughs> <laughs> oh. mm -mm -mm. Hi, Rue. Hi. How are you? Good. I am such a huge fan of you and your work and all of your hit song. <laughs> 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 Hi, Ross. Hi. I love you so much. And you are the only person I have ever met that watches porn and <laughs> when the pizza gets delivered. <laughs> what is up with that? Uh -huh. <laughs> you got a point. Well, did you guys have fun with my set? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. All right. Well, hopefully my laughs will get you through the awkward silence on the next bitch's set. <laughs> Up girls, it's now time to listen. Hand on your hip and assume the position. Mama Roo said that we're all born naked. Got mix says love you, but I don't fake it. Here's the tea. I put in work, baby. So fight for yourself and let all the basic haters lurk, baby. That face that stamps so right. Clown paint and waist so tight. Boys, girls, and in between. It's time to crown your queen. Let's go. Up first, got Mick. Oh, you guys, I think she spotted us. Circle gets the square. <laughs> I am polka dotted head to toe. All of my glory holes out and proud. My makeup is stamped. I have my clown white face, but then I also have holes that show my skin tone. This look is really creative, out of the box, show stopping drag. I feel so baby got Mick, bitch. I feel what? Gorge. Got Mick, it's more like spot Mick. I love it. Period. <laughs> Got Nick. You gave us permission to show this childhood photo. Yeah. What do you have to say to your two-year-old self? Hi, Cade. That's your name now. Get into it. Um, <laughs> you know, there's one side of you that just loves laughing and life. And then there's another side that just feels like you just don't fit in and you just need to realize that you have to live your truth. And the second you trust that you know who you are, your whole life is gonna change. Those years of being uncomfortable in your own skin is gonna make you grow an even thicker skin. And you're gonna be able to look in the mirror and say, I love you. And you're gonna take over the world. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> From the hood to Hollywood. <laughs> I'm Ken Muse, and I'm the Dominican doll from New York City. And my drag style is kind of like if you took a sex doll and threw her in the Bronx. That is literally me. My most impressive drag talent is my mouth. I'm a good lip syncer. I'm a loud ass bitch. You know, everyone can be a drag queen, but not everyone's going to be a star. I'm a star. First one! Oh my god, bitch, season 13! I look stunning. Being the first bitch to walk in this competition after waiting years to get on Drag Race is such a dream. I am so excited to be here. Come on now! And now, any bitch that walks in after me, <laughs> second place. <laughs> Two queens stand before me. Prior to tonight, you were asked to prepare a lip sync performance of Call Me Maybe by Carly Rae Jepsen. In a moment, I'll ask one of you to chante and one of you to sashay away. Bitch, excuse me. We just walked into the competition and now we have to lip sync for our lives. One of us is about to go home. And it ain't gonna be me. Ladies, 
This is your first chance to impress me and save yourself from getting the pork chop. The time has come for you to lip sync for your life. <laughs> I threw a wish in the well Don't ask me, I'll never tell I looked to you as it fell And now you're in my way I trade my soul for a wish Pennies and dimes for a kiss I wasn't looking for this But now you're in my way Your stare was holding Where you think you're going, baby? Hey, I just met you Well, Miss Rue, I just met you, and this is crazy. Whatever this bitch next to me is doing, girl, I can give two because this stage is mine. Take out your dollars, bitch. It's hard to look right at your baby, but here's my number. So call me maybe. Hey, I just met you. And this is crazy. Candy Muse, Shantae, you stay. Thank you so much. RuPaul just called my name, and I tell her to stay real calm and bow down. Thank you so much. But bitch, I'm inside. I'm like, oh, bitch, I want to go <laughs> Candy Muse. Rock me, Mama Deus. Mama Deus? Mama Deus. I am excited to walk the runway, because this is what I do. Baby, I've been modeling in the streets of New York my entire life. Bitch, I make pretend I'm walking down a fashion show in Paris. I'm just like, <laughs> thank you. Even though I'm in the hood, but it's fine, it's cool, I love it. This look isn't necessarily a classic candy look, but I'm trying to show the judges that a big girl can be fashion for it, but I won't give you couture. The Red Queen, off with her head. Candy Muse. What in the hell? This look definitely represents a little more of Candy Muse because I love latex, I love being sexy, I love showing body, I love showing curves. It's just everything, bitch. I'm everything. She gets her kicks on Route 666. <laughs> <laughs> the whole, is that for a tail, you think? Not today, Satan. <laughs> To the queen. <laughs> I'm getting my car, come on, pass it down New York City, give birth to me. I'm ready to attack, it's a massive attack, you hope better beware of me. <laughs> Sitting alone in the VIP, you can never compare to me. <laughs> Candy Mish. Negligee, you stay. Do I make you Bring horny, back baby? Back that bot realness. Back and my purple little nightgown, my little furry titties. I am giving the judges candy news to the T. Baby, pretty, sexy, eat it up, bitch. I like a good Nancy boot and Daisy Duke. Mm. <laughs> These boots were made for slaying. <laughs> <laughs> this week's maxi challenge is the bag ball, bitch. So what are your ideas, darling? I originally wanted to use the pink bean bag. Mm -hmm. After Miss Double T jumped in like a flying squirrel, almost knocked me over. I, I found all these book bags, and like I think it's just really colorful and like girly and really playful. Right now, I'm thinking to myself, all right, book bags, really like bright colors. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? Hmm, book bags, school, first day of school, ho, first day of college semester. I'm gonna be a ho. Joey? Yes, ma'am. Come here, Miss Thing. I don't know if y'all been catching on, but I have the biggest crush on Joey Jane. And they tell me in the work room, I'm like, mm, hi, Joey. This is yours? Yeah, this is mine. But Joey's taste level? I feel good about it. There's still a few things that I need to, like, do. Yeah. She seems really confident with her looks. I'm looking at the costume a little confused as to what the hell I'm looking at. I know it's not, like, most exciting outfit, yeah. but I think that once I can kind of Snip the last few things, it's gonna be a clean outfit. Joey, if you wanna quit drag, we can get married, I can win the competition, and I can sustain both of us. 
because... <laughs> oh. Candy Muse, bag of tricks. Look at all that wood. Oh, she knows how to handle a pole. Bitch, I'm a sex magician. Boom, bitch. I'm pulling out a wooden stick out of my magic bag. Mm, it's so long. Woo! This garment is great form-fitting, tight to the body, latex and vinyl. Oh, bitch, I'm hot. Honey, she put the hoe in hocus pocus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is. Now you see her, now you don't. Candy Muse, bankroll. Bam, bitch, I'm a CEO. She used to work the corner, but now she owns the corners. My hat piece and my little blunt in my hand are made out of money, bitch. All she sees is dollar signs. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get down to business, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Candy Muse. Ooh, what does she have in her trapper keeper? Hmm, trapper keep her. <laughs> I'm a naughty schoolgirl, bitch. I've chosen to go with book bags and cut them up and make it into a skirt and make a really cute bra. It is bright, it's colorful, it's first day of school realness. Bitch, fight me and I'll take your lunch money. Meet me at the flagpole at 3 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> My boyfriend to be was just sent home. Joey J. I'm so fast. I'm a gay ass bitch. I'm who? Joey J. So, Lala, I want to talk because I'm coming for you, but you sent my man home. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, bitch, Joey's cute, and I definitely have a big ass crush on him, and I most for sure will sleep with the bitch, but we'll oh. meet again after I win this competition. <laughs> Miss Rose, your personality reminds me of a piece of Purdue chicken. White, bland, and unseasoned. <laughs> Denali. Meh, forgettable. <laughs> Miss Utica, you are weird, you are creepy, and for those reasons, my dear, I want you to suffocate me with your big <laughs> <laughs> What? Candy Muse, classy and flashy. And trashy, too. <laughs> this is the most beautiful I am going to ever look. I am wearing my huge hat with beads like a cascade of diamonds. I have my nipples softly caressed with some tassels. I look like sex walking down the runway. You know you're a whore when your beads are dragging on the floor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she delivers in 30 minutes or less. <laughs> Up next, Candy Muse. Oops-a-daisy. <laughs> Show us your two lips. This look is a recreation of Beyonce's iconic lemonade look. I have ruffles coming up and down my body, curly blonde hair, and so many flowers. Baby, I feel stunning. She don't just key your car. She beats the f*** out of it. <laughs> Candy Muse. You're a profess, sis. Keep showing them who's boss. Thank you for changing my life forever. That I can be who I want to be into the world and not giving a f*** about what anyone has to say about me. And you've made me feel so, so special. I love you. Thank you so much. Now, sashay away. Love you. Yeah. Candy, candy, wait. Stop. I'm not ready for you to go. <laughs> not yet. You are safe to slay another day. Bitch, you have to play with my emotions home. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, Up next, it's makeup mogul Patrick Starr. What the tea, honeybee? Patrick, is it true one size fits all? Bitch, what size fits most, bitch? I love to eat. You're not gonna fit some <laughs> what, do you, what do you love to eat? Bitch, I love to eat dick and hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, bitch. All right, Raven, what say you? I believe Winnie the Pooh would have been canceled for scatting in the forest. For scatting in the, like an elephant's like Gerald. 
Let's go to the celebrities and see if you have any matches. Patrick Starr. Ooh, I'm pissed. Why? Because you said pork chop was late. Now, nah, bitch, I'm hungry. So I thought you meant the pork chops were late. No. This bitch just walked up in here. Now I don't got no food. <laughs> <laughs> now, listen, we are looking for scatting. What say you? I think that we need to got canceled for sniffing. sniffing. The environment, of course. I have a few influencer friends who sniff the environment every weekend. One being a PMS Paris Hilton. Yeah. And after a few sniffs, bitch, they're going to be scatting. <laughs> Um, can, can I get some of this? Oh, absolutely. Oh, I was yeah. just going to mention, do you want to become a vegan, too? Mm. That's an enthusiastic vegan. That's an enthusiastic mm. vegan, I'll tell you. <laughs> Candy News. She's also feathered her hair. It is a trend. Uh -huh. It is. For this look, I just thought to myself, what are you always thinking about in your head? Yourself. So the fascinator on top of my head and the feather spells out my last name, Muse. I am walking down the runway like I am in a fashion show in Paris, baby. Ain't no gray areas in there, baby. It's just black and white. That's right. This bitch is layered. <laughs> Are, are you psychic? Um, I think I can kind of tell when I'm going to get some trade. That's a great psychic ability to have. And then my mother says I have goat's mouth. Goat's mouth? Anytime I say something, usually most of the time, it happens. Girl, I don't know. My mother made it up. And truly, if my mother said it, it's real. Does the trade say you have goat's mouth? <laughs> well, let's say I got good mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, bitch, don't I look gorgeous tonight, huh? Y'all, my name is Candy News, and I ain't a nice grandma. I'm a naughty girl. Ooh, oh. <laughs> Listen up, bitch. Welcome to the nice girls' roast, bitch. Tonight, we have the privilege and honor of roasting our amazing Miss Congenialities. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> ain't no audience tonight. Mm -mm. Michelle, don't that kind of remind you of your old concerts from back in the days, bitch? Oh. Just empty. Oh. First up, the incredible Valentina. Hello. You know, you and my drag mother have so much history together. <laughs> but she got one thing correct, baby. You're perfect. You're beautiful. That performance in Rent Live was rough, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Your angel needed an angel. <laughs> Hello, Miss Nina West. Hi. You make my good Judy, Miss Tina Burner, look like such a petite woman. <laughs> With them big ass shoulders you got, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I know that drag race is the Olympics of drag. And baby, you the stadium. <laughs> <laughs> How can I forget our sweetheart, Miss Hottie in closet? Oh. I don't know what's worse. Your fashion on season 12. No, baby, ain't nothing worse than that. <laughs> ain't nothing worse than that. <laughs> Hello, judges. Hi, Andy. I don't know what's scarier, waiting for my test results at the clinic or waiting for a critique from the judges. I know at least one of them will come out positive. <laughs> <laughs> How can I forget about our amazing special guest judge, Ms. Lonnie Love? Hey, Candy. <laughs> How does being an extra on Soul Plane land you this big ass gig on RuPaul's Drag Race? <laughs> hey, Ru. Hi. Y'all, RuPaul is so old, Jurassic Park brought back memories. <laughs> RuPaul is so old, I told her to act her own age, bitch. She died. <laughs> Candy Muse, you're right. This is the Olympics of drag. And tonight, you won the gold. Congratulations. You're the winner of this week's challenge. Look at our Rose's hair is making me miss my baby Joey J. My forever fallen angel. Ah, Joey. Candy Muse. Her pockets are full of candy. I am walking down to the drummer like a little doll. I just walked out of a box. Ooh, this outfit is Japanese fire, colorful. I have my little 40 pockets dangling from my body, but if you look real close, you can see my ass. And there's very pockets. But, oh. 
asymmetrical hole. <laughs> <laughs> she got a pocket full of rainbows. <laughs> yes. Yo, the news is back. Top four bitch on the track. She about to bring it back. And you all better watch your backs. We wish they had my spot. They said I will go first. Now I'm laughing from the top. <laughs> from the hood to Hollywood, we'll see that bitches on my side. Number one, show stopping Jeeva. Now I'm ready for my crown, bitch. Candy Muse. Thank you for being transparent. Now, that's a queen who likes it meshy. <laughs> we love a meshy bottom. Walking down the runway for the last time, I feel so beautiful. A lot of girls to the finale usually choose to wear gowns and all this glamour stuff, but Candy don't do glamour and gowns, baby, so I'm giving it true to me. Fun, sexy, flirty, and chic. But, uh oh, doesn't matter what circumstances I'm put in, I'm always be Candy Muse, bitch. Candy Lisa. I've heard of a lace front, but she got a lace back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Candy Muse, <laughs> what advice do you have for your three-year-old self? <laughs> oh. uh, people are not going to get you. People are going to try to physically hurt you, mentally harm you. There is going to come a time in your life where you're going to have to choose if you're going to want to live your life to the fullest or end up in jail. But you're gonna grow so strong from it. And you don't have to put the blame on yourself for everything that you can't change. And you're a bitch, you've always been Look at that hat. Love that. Oh my God, I am the first one here. I uh, could have gone to the dentist. My name is Rose and I reside at the busy intersection of Whit Avenue and Fashion Boulevard. Rose is a comedy queen, kind of like if Robin Williams and Jim Carrey had a child. What a horrible daughter for the two of them to procreate. <laughs> Got a little stage going on here. I'm not gonna step on that, it might collapse. <laughs> I had breakfast today. I'm a singer and a dancer. I was on The Voice and America's Got Talent. I'm very competitive. I don't like to lose, but I usually win. <laughs> <laughs> I should, uh, I should probably wipe off this tooth since no one's gonna <laughs> see it. I'm basically doing shtick for an empty house, which uh, is not something Rosé's used to, I'm proud to say. <laughs> They never wanna leave. Exes in the oh oh oh, they haunt me. Like the oh oh oh, they want me to make them all oh oh oh, they won't let go. My exes. I'm an incredible lip syncer. I'm gonna show the judges that I've got a few tricks up my sleeve, and I'm the bitch to watch. Rosé. Not right now, thanks, I'm working. <laughs> oh, honey, she is already for the party. Rosé's Lady Runway is a Moschino-inspired paper doll fantasy. I'm serving bright colors, lots of geometry. This is a hand-painted dress with a matching bag. Those kidney-shaped sleeves scream, I'm an organ donor. I've donated an organ before. Have you? <laughs> yeah. I'm not usually a queen who tends to be ladylike, but bitch, I feel like a woman right now. And my ass has a huge secret. Oze. Hmm. Who's Oze? Oh. She saw this in the store and said, oh, it has my name on it. <laughs>
Welcome to the main cage of RuPaul's Drag Race. <laughs> there are some looks that you put on and you just know that nobody can tell you That's how I feel in this. It's absolutely everything. It is Alexander McQueen inspired. I feel like the high priestess at a funeral who's about to go out and get a cocktail by herself at 6 a.m. I can never find a switch on this lamp. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Does anyone still wear a Lazy Susan? <laughs> Rosé. Finally, something to wear if you have fat wrists. <laughs> this look speaks to what Rosé does on the regular. Baby, my legs are all the way out. I've got my baby pink hair, which is a signature option for Rosé. And I'm playing with a really fun silhouette. I'm meeting flowing fabric with hand-dyed plastic. I am the only plastic bubblegum princess, complete with cotton candy billowing sleeves. I feel cute as a button in this look. Oh, it's like a gay loofah fantasy. Loofah? I hardly know you. <laughs> Denali. Rose. Congratulations, you are the top two queens of the week. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Rose. Bagpipes. Is that a pipe in your kilt, or are you just happy to see me? I'm giving a nod to my Scottish upbringing, and I'm also playing the wee lovely slutty Scottish girl who just got back from her bagpipes rehearsal and is really feeling like her pussy's on fire because she's actually a ginger. You like your queen's piping hot? <laughs> Blow me. <laughs> Rosé. She means business, big business. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, I'm giving you 80s down. From the triangular hair to the red lip, and we've got this beautiful Balmain-inspired silhouette. This look is a direct nod to the movie Big Business, one of my favorite Bette Midler roles. And I'm feeling completely expensive. Bet on it. <laughs> <laughs> Rosé. Takes a lot of balls to wear a look like this. I've created this futuristic fembot fatal look. I look like an alien goddess warrior from another planet, and I've come to Earth to wear purses as couture. And if I'm a super shero from the future, my superpower is dizziness, because baby, we are spinning out of control. Bye-bye blue balls, hello silver balls. <laughs> Rosé. I cannot wait to do this, bitch. <laughs> She's ready. She's ready, baby. <laughs> the library is open. La la ree. Bitch, this look is sickening, girl. It's something nobody said to you during the ball challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Candy, you have eaten tons of it. <laughs> the rusical is very important to me. I've been waiting for it. I've been excited about it. I am the singer of the cast. I need to showcase that. Baby, I need to make sure I get the part for me. <laughs> so it's between Russian Bot and Foxy, between Tadali and Rose. Period. It's literally Don't Wait in My Parade, one of my go to songs. Foxy's big song is a spoof of Don't Rain on My Parade, made famous by my idol, Barbara Streisand. Baby, that is a sign. What if they each do a little bit of Foxy, and then we decide which one we think is better? I think that's a great idea. <laughs> I'm volunteering to go first because, in my opinion, after reading the script, that's what Foxy would do. <laughs> Don't say what I can post, you know. I'm stunning. All the people want sex, not body stunning. So just cancel your plans to troll on my crusade. <laughs> All right. All right. Excuse me, I've got a bone to pick with you, and it's a big bone. I've had my account suspended by every one of you. Why? Um, you show too, too much skin. skin. Whatever happened to sex positivity? Free the nipple! Don't say what I can post, you, you know, know I'm stunning. Me. All people want sex, not, not body shunning. shunning. So just cancel your plans to troll on, on my crusade. Post pics got up on my tits. Watch me do the splits <laughs> like sis. Hey, life's online and I'm looking fine. I've got to get those likes, sis. <laughs> I'm free to post and be me. 
get laid, blow shade, and spill tea. My assets make you go wow. Voicey, my thought shots. And pow! Yo, Mrs. Tuckenberg, what do you think of me now? Up next, Rose. Smoking. My yellow look is a tribute to Jim Carrey in The Mask. I've turned the zoot suit into a little three-piece number. I'm a redhead because I'm mischievous as f I'm a cartoon character come to life. She paid extra for the guacamole. <laughs> Rose, this week you outfox the competition. Congratulations, you are the winner of this week's challenge. You've won a cash tip of $5,000. Thank you so much. This is a really big deal to me. Now I finally have a win. I'm thrilled. How about Miss Rosita? Rosita. <laughs> guys, I finally won something. I came into this competition thinking that I was going to slay off the bat, and I didn't. <laughs> so it's wonderful to have one, doing something that is such a huge part of me. The winner's circle is dead, but between us, baby, the winner's circle was never a thing because I was not a part of it, and I guarantee you I'm gonna f make it to the top four. So, bitches beware. Snatched from the pages of history, it's Mary, Queen of Scots. Hello, RuPaul, how's it going, man? You're looking Great, seriously. Oh. Tell me, Queen, how's your head? Lots of complaints, but I can't remember most of it. You know what they say, go underground for a few years, you're probably gonna lose a wee no, that great no start it. <laughs> I say that all the time. All right, Raven, what say you? I believe Winnie the Pooh would have been canceled for scatting in the forest. The fucking maddie. I guess I got canceled as well. When I went down to England to try and overtake the throne, and Queen Lizzie, my cousin, she was really pissed at me, so she cut my head off. <laughs> so I wrote, he got canceled for being a greedy bastard. <laughs> One point for the team, right? Oh! <laughs> First up, Rosé as Tina Burner. Reminds me of that song, She's Got Tina Burner Eyes. <laughs> well, here I am, bitches. Tina f Burner, the mini edition. I look just like Tina. The hair is right, the mug is, well, it's Tina. I am stomping and clonking down this runway. A camp housewife from the 50s, and boom, bitch, a reveal. Ooh. Oh, I look great. You better butter my biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up, girl, cause you're a nightmare. <laughs> Hi, I'm Rosé, and I'm full of myself, literally. So when I get a hangover from hell, I reach for an ice-cold can of rosé The pink wine-flavored soft drink that not only rehydrates, it leaves me looking and feeling perfect. I love being perfect. <laughs> and with new active ingredient criticism, you'll be thinking perfectly, too. Hi, is this giant ruffling texture flattering? <laughs> no, it isn't. <laughs> and just like any sugary hangover cure, rosé doubles as a sports drink. Hey, come play. I'm not playing that. So what are you waiting for? Drink rosé and be perfect like me now. <laughs> be perfect now with rosé. Rosé, you did one hell of a good job this week. Congratulations. You are also the winner of this week's challenge. Yay! Oh my god, yay! Thank you! <laughs> You've won a cash tip of $5,000. Oh my god, no, This is Awesome. Being in a win on the same level as Simone at this point in the competition, baby, that is exactly where I need to be. Queens, say hello to the president of Anastasia Beverly Hills, Norvina. Norvina, thank you for supplying all of this season's gorgeous cosmetics. My pleasure. All right, remember, the queen with the funniest face wins. Hit it. 
Hello to all of my friends, fans, and followers. Of course, it is me, your girl, Samantha. We are trying out the Norvina collection right here. I want to start with some loose setting powder. Okay, we've got a lot. Okay, so we've got this lovely, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, mm-hmm, this is great. So now, it looks like I want to do a nice uh, tangerine. <laughs> and start with this face, ow. <laughs> wow, <laughs> feels good. And I'm gonna finish that off with some green. Wow, okay, on the other side. <laughs> yeah. Lipsticks, we've got two lipsticks here. Just add it right in there. <laughs> and remember, you can always overdraw your lips for a sexy, pouty look. So I'm just gonna <laughs> overdraw over here. I'm just gonna use this lipstick to uh, actually, oh, okay, why not make the glue colorful? That is fantastic. I'm feeling absolutely stunning out with my Norvina. Ooh, I think we have our new slogan. Mmm. <laughs> Norvina, please do the honors. The winners of this week's challenge are Rosé and Candy. <laughs> You've each won $2,500 worth of Anastasia Beverly Hills Cosmetics. Oh, Thank wow. you. Everyone, listen, my name is Rosé, and before I get started, I do want us all to give one more massive round of applause for Miss Olivia Lux. Who, after what we just experienced, will now forever go by the name Olivia Sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Valentina, I, I can't believe I'm standing on this stage with you. I credit a lot of my love for polish and perfection today to watching Valentina while season nine was airing. And coincidentally, during All Stars 4, I too realized that I am completely f delusional. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Nina West is here, everybody! Nina West's shoulders are so wide that in high school, she auditioned for the school play and got the part of the stage. <laughs> <laughs> now, Heidi and I are actually friends. Heidi and I uh, got to know each other last year in New York. We've hung out a few times. And uh, how you doing, Heidi? Bless and highly favorable. Okay, great. So we've been talking for about 10 <laughs> seconds. This is the longest on record that Heidi has ever waited before trying to f me. <laughs> <laughs> Heidi, is it true? No, it's not lies, baby. <laughs> the only thing that is thirstier than Heidi and Closet are her makeup brushes, okay? <laughs> yes. Oh, RuPaul, you always look beautiful. And I'm really proud to uh, announce that it's not the only thing that we share in common. <laughs> I, uh, I want you all to know that Ru and I are both actively working in the music industry. One of us is a recording artist, and one <laughs> is a singer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody, well, listen, I've had a great time, but before I leave, I want to leave you with some words. Uh, well, actually, it's for you, Candy. Candy, I'm really proud of you for what you've done this season, but mostly for tonight, because I know it takes tremendous courage to show up to a roast when you are a roast. Thank you. I'm Rosé. Have a wonderful night. Wow. Is it just me? Or did the toxic overhead lighting make the furniture huge. Ginger ale. The furniture didn't get bigger, you idiot. We shrunk! <laughs> we gotta go all the way across the workroom and activate the shade button. <laughs> but the shade button is so far away, we'll never make it. It might as well be on Uranus. Wait, why can't we just call for help? <laughs> Rosé, this week you played it small, but the results were supersized. Congratulations, you're the winner of this week's challenge. Yeah. <laughs> Little Scottish boy grew up to be the supreme, I'm the definition of American dream. Lucky for a daddy who believed in a star, but take it from Rosé, you better work to go by. Every single thing about the bitch is right. Magnify the resume, the font is tied. I can rap, what a gag. Check it, baby, this is drag. Rosé. Is that a shillelagh in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> Beam me up, Scotty. <laughs> this look is a dream for me, to wear a gown of tartan. It is Scottish as my hair is the most beautiful shade of Scottish orange ginger, and it is down to my ass. I am in love with the way I look from head to toe. I'm not flat about it. <laughs> she killed it. 
What advice do you have for your two-year-old self? You are so severely blessed by a love that your parents will teach you throughout your life. A lot of kids don't get that. And one day, you're gonna find something called drag. And you will finally begin to really understand yourself. And then, it is your job to teach others that love. And uh, you gotta take that bow tie off because there's uh, four bitches that are gonna read you for looking too perfect. Uh, <laughs> put it in the hair, yeah. I like the bow tie. I'm not a big fan of bow ties. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Don't let the smooth taste fool you, baby. <laughs> My name is Simone. I'm 25 years old, and I'm the Ebony in Chat. Sure. Queen number one, all right. Let's do it. My drag is very real woman, very female illusion. It's gonna be my spot, front and center, honey. I love strong women who've been through things, and if you're black, that's even better. I'm here, bitch! <laughs> Simone is the confidence, the essence. She is a goddess. She's everything. Ladies, this is your first chance to impress me and save yourself from getting the pork chop. The time has come. Read your lip sync for your life. I ain't been here five minutes and y'all doing all this. This is crazy. Good luck and don't get up. Tamisha is giving you Janet Jackson at the concert, darling. The arms, the movements, the da, 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 da. I was like, oh no, ma'am. This is my stage. I can't let her have it. This is not her Janet Jackson moment. It's fine. I was kind of nervous about this outfit because I didn't want anyone to think I was a narcissist, but I do love my, like, my drag character did save my life, so, like, I definitely wanted to, like, touch on that a little bit. I was a really lonely, depressed kid. I was bullied a lot. Same. I didn't exactly know what was wrong with me. I didn't, I'm a black kid. Like, you know, it's just a lot going on. I created her to, like, make me happy. I don't think I would have made it past high school if I didn't find this. Like, it literally, made me want to live, like to push forward and be like, okay, what can I make out of this life, you know? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Simone. The circus is in town and she's the big talk. Well, that makes one of us. Well, <laughs> there's gotta be at least one. <laughs> my look inspired by the 90s with Players Club hair. My shoulders out, little pick and then you turn around and boom! There's a cape in the back, honey. A little bit of old meets new, which is very Simone. Giving you everything. Simone Pointer, the lost Pointer sister. <laughs> Simone! Yes, honey. Ooh, is the bus still running? Yeah. <laughs>
The bitch has arrived at the party, honey. Let's go. For evening, Simone is giving you very mother goddess combined with the last people in the Matrix partying at Zion, darling. Get this side. It's my good side. Uh, oh, every angle. <laughs> Ooh, it looks like she started the walk of shame early. <laughs> <laughs> See you next Simone Day. The name's Simone, and I'm here for the throne. <laughs> Be fishing, I'm out in the ground. The ebony and tantrums is me. Legs up to my waist, talent you can't replace. Simone. Ooh. Mama said, knock you out. <laughs> T-K-O-M-G. I am giving you walks the house down, darling. I got a little cut on my eyebrow, honey. I'm giving it to you. I definitely wanted this runway to be a little bit more clever, showing that there is a brain behind the beauty, darling. Y'all, does this mean she spits? <laughs> That's a wrap on Michelle. <laughs> Olivia Lux. Simone. Congratulations, you are the top two queens of the week. <laughs> Darling, I am on top of the mother world, bitch. <laughs> Olivia Lux, Simone, great job this week. But there can only be one number one. Two queens stand before me. Ladies, this is your last chance to impress me and win a cash tip of $5,000. The time has come for you to lip sync for the win. Good luck and don't it up. I've always been the one to say the first goodbye. Had to love and lose a hundred million times. You say my name like I have never heard before I'm indecisive, but this time I know for sure I hope I'm not the only one that feels it all Are you falling? Yeah. Center of attention, you know you can get whatever you want from me Whatever you want it, baby It's you with my reflection now I definitely want to show the judges everything that Simone is, and this is my moment to be like, no, bitch. This is my stage, and this is my 5,000 duels hairs. You've won $5,000. I'm a winner, baby! First main challenge, and Miss Simone has taken the bag. I am feeling correct. Back Simone! Girl. Yes! Bring back my she girl. comes from the wrong Bring side of the tracksuit. <laughs> a do rag is a part girl. of black culture, and I want to celebrate that on the stage. Girl. Ain't nothing wrong with wearing no do rag, it is unapologetic. That is very Simone. Do your thing, Simone. Uh-huh. Oh, yes, yeah, she better do rag. <laughs> <laughs> this Flag Day, get ready to fall in love with yourself all over again. 
in the RuPaul Mark original, God Loves Flags. Meet Red Flag of the famous flag-making flag family. I hate flags. <laughs> and I hate myself. <laughs> when she receives a desperate text, Red rushes home to the flag family flag factory. Red, thank goodness you're home. The bank is foreclosing on the flag family flag factory. I know you left town years ago, but you still own half of the flag factory. <laughs> Correction, I own 51% of the flag factory. And the only reason I came back is to shut it down. As of midnight tonight, I'll be tearing down the flag factory. And I'll be putting up a wall factory where a wall factory ought to be. Simone, tonight you put the drag in do-rag. Congratulations, you're the winner of this week's challenge. Yeah. Thank you. You've won a cash prize of $5,000. I just got win number two. I feel on top of the world. Fighting for black lives and all those things are very, very important to me. Of course, you all know the George Floyd thing that really, like, sparked all this yeah. mm -hmm. And thank God. I mean, like, not in the sense that it's sad that he had to, that had to happen. Yeah. But I'm happy that people are waking the up because it's always been there being black and seeing the George Floyd video being played over and over and over again, there's a level of trauma that comes with that. So even with corona going on, I felt immediately compelled to be involved in protests here in Los Angeles because enough is enough. Things need to change. Simone, giving you fun bags. Oh, I didn't know old Michelle came in black. <laughs> <laughs> I am wearing this velvet dress covered in sequin coming down to the ground, honey, feathered at the bottom with the biggest titties you ever did see. Of course, this is a Diana Ross reference, but with a little bit of a twist to it. It's RuPaul's breast friend race. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> Thanks for the mammary. <laughs> Simone, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Patty LaPelle. <laughs> you are stupid! <laughs> I am serving you futuristic businesswoman lady. I decided to wear this pink, reflective material, a big old collar, very fifth element, darling. I need this look. Listen, those pants would have come in handy for me many years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Simone. Ahoy. It's a sunny day in California. And bitch, I'm going to the beach. I have this red and white two-piece ensemble. A little mini skirt showing almost too much. And she's trying to find a man, honey. She sees these bitches at the beach. And she's like, oh no, all these cute boys is for me. Touch this melanin, honey. Touch <laughs> all of this melanin. Speech, please. <laughs> Denali! You do got a fat ass, bitch. Thank you. Well, that's great, because you're going to need something to land on when she sends you home. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Tita Bertha! <laughs> How much Tina have you actually burned, bitch? <laughs> we all want it all! Pneumonia. Oh, y'all want to be? <laughs> <laughs> you wanted a gag on the runway. Well, honey, here it is. And my runway's look is inspired by Glamazonian, Zulu, African warrior. All of these things spun up into one. I am feeling just so strong and ready to kick your ass if I need to. Quintessential Simone happening right now. Get into it. What's her name again? <laughs> Simone. First up, it is my honor to introduce the legendary abolitionist, Harriet Tubman. Harriet, is Harriet? Oh, Harriet Tubman. Hi, Harriet Tubman. Mm -hmm. I see all this room full of white people up here now. I got nerves. Yeah, well, I can understand that. When you hear I'm coming, you got to get low. Yes, but you've evaded the white folks for I a long time. I've them for years <laughs> on the Underground Railroad. Huh? But here for the Snatch Game, babe. Yes, it's all for a good cause. It's all for a good cause. Yes. The freedom! <laughs> Are the celebrities ready? Uh, okay. <laughs> it looks like Harriet Tubman is validating some parking. Harriet, do you have a stamp? Let me tell you what they did to me up in this motherfucking country. Oh, what have they done? Okay, they done told me I was gonna be put on the $20 bill. And then yeah. this motherfucker got in the office and said, oh, we gonna snatch that. Oh. So you know what I did? What? I just put myself on a $100 bill. How about oh. that, bitch? <laughs> Harriet Tubman, she keeps it 100. <laughs> okay, all right. Simone Simone Ooh. Hello, goddess. 
I really wanted to take this opportunity to do some activism in my drag and personify a black angelic being. And as I turn around, you see on the back, there are two bullet holes. And I put my hands up, don't shoot. It's not a moment, it is a movement. We need to continue to say their names. Breonna Taylor, George Floyd, Brayla Stone, Trayvon Martin, Tony McDade, Nina Pope, Monica Diamond. Simone as Utica. She is very thin skinned. <laughs> This garment is very Utica Queen, darling. I am feeling the Utica energy. I am using my legs and my arms to really move in this garment. And I am letting go and being free. It's quirky and you gotta think about it. I feel great on the runway. I feel powerful, but in a different way. Martha Graham, eat your heart out. <laughs> Simone, Utica, you made this the freakiest Friday ever. Congratulations, you're the winners of this week's challenge. Are you a stick in the mud? Do you take life too seriously? Is your blood sugar low? <laughs> well, baby, do I got a drink for you? It's called Sweet Tooth, made to make you go from uptight to just right, baby. <laughs> I've made this with all my favorite things. Sugar, glucose, high fructose corn syrup, gut rock. <laughs> and a little bit of that stuff. Uh, uh. Now, this drink ain't for the faint of heart, baby. No, really. I had two cardiac arrests on the way here. <laughs> Woo. And if you buy two, you get a gold tooth for free. <laughs> You're gonna need it. Everybody got a sweet tooth. Ooh. <laughs> Everybody got a sweet tooth. <laughs> Simone. You outfox the competition. Congratulations, you're the winner of this week's yeah. challenge. Yeah. This is my fourth win. I feel on top of the world. I'm just so happy that I allowed myself to be seen. Uh, you wanna wanna taste of me? Uh, I'm the mother talking up and I. It's interesting, took a minute, oh, but now I see. Uh, I'm the sugar honey. Simone as Leontine Price. Yes, ma'am. Y'all, do these sleeves make my ass look big? <laughs> Sleeve Simone alone. <laughs> I am wearing this beautiful purple gown. Larger than life sleeves. They are so obnoxiously big, and I love an obnoxious sleeve. And I feel just on top of the world. I really wanted to make the statement of our hair and the way we wear it is beautiful. I wanted to bring black excellence to this competition because I wanted to show that you can be that and be unapologetic about it. She is corn rowing down the competition. Even her sleeves are in drag. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Cecily Tyson. Girls. Simone. <laughs> what advice do you have for your three-year-old self? <laughs> Reggie, <laughs> you're gonna grow up and you're gonna believe all the things that people say about you, <laughs> that there is something wrong with you, <laughs> that you can't be black and gay, <laughs> that you can't be feminine <laughs> and be successful, <laughs> but you're gonna hate yourself. <laughs> Please don't make the mistake I did. <laughs> Love yourself. <laughs> And then you're going to go and live your dream one day and meet somebody who inspired you. <laughs> and she's going to call you a star. <laughs> and you're going to do everything they said that you couldn't do. And you're going to be great. Thank you. The time has come. You to lip sync for your life. Good luck. And don't f it up. Did you think I'd still care that there'd be one feeling
Do you want everything RuPaul's Drag Race at your fingertips? Then head over to YouTube now and subscribe to the RuPaul's Drag Race channel. And you will get all the episodes of everything you ever want, including brand new episodes of Whatcha Packin'. Hi.